Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and uh, there's a good chance that if I was coming up your drive and I was carrying this, you would think I was some kind of traveling salesman. But instead, I'm here to talk to you about a product that if you like to uh, shoot uh, things like product photography, maybe food photography, even some macro work, this is something that you, like myself, might find very, very useful. This is from the manufacturer Angler, and this is an LED light tent, portable light tent. And so before we jump into that, I'm just gonna pull a few of the things out of an outside mesh pocket. There is a diffuser here, instruction booklet that came in the box, and then there are some electrical components here. And so we will just quickly assemble these two things, and so we're ready to plug it all in when we get it assembled. Okay, and so with those things out of the pocket, you have what is, you know, fairly large in terms of going across, but it's only about an inch, inch and a half uh, thick here. And so you have something that is actually very easy to store, but is surprising how useful that it is. And so there, through the use of Velcro, we'll uh, just start to lay things out here and so that we can take a look at that. And so we have a few different components that are a main part of the setup here. And so there are some panels that uh, we can stand up and uh, we'll uh, just, I'll quickly assemble those three together here. And then I'll turn it and so you can see a look. So all of these have just Velcro that attaches on the corners, easy to set up there. And then once you have established that, You've got a reflective surface inside. You've got this uh, kind of cubed shape here. There's another component that comes as a part of that. And if you'll look inside as I fold this further down, right now there is a white background that is set up, but there is actually a total of four different options that are included. There is a white, there is a black, there is a uh, kind of a medium gray that's going to give you a very nice white balance. And then even a green if you're wanting to uh, do some chroma key work with it. And so here just for our, um, our sample purposes, I'm going to pull these others out. And I'm just going to uh, take out... And then I'll just take out this white here. And so um, all of these are, uh, they're actually a fairly heavy grade of material. They're not a paper, but uh, I'm not exactly sure what the material is, but it, it's very resistant to both wrinkling and it's certainly pretty much tear proof. And so uh, what you do with this is that you have on one end of it, there are some, uh, there's Velcro that will actually attach inside here. So I'm just attaching that end. And then on this opposite end, there's actually a little kind of slot for that to be tucked under. And uh, once you have tucked all of that in, you can then bring the uh, top flap up like this. And once again, you use the uh, Velcro to attach up the sides. And then once you've got all of that assembled, you simply rotate everything over like this. And uh, then once that has been opened up, then we can look inside and now we have a very white surface in here in which to put our products on to shoot. Now it gets even more interesting, however, I'm gonna close that back for a moment. As you remember, we do have an actual power plug here. And so the cool thing about this, there is a, a plug here to, uh, to tie into for that. And, um, and so I simply uh, plug in that. I'm gonna plug this into, a, into the wall. Now there's actually an actual power switch here. And so you can switch it on and off. I'm gonna open that back up so you can see inside. And then if I switch that on, there's actually some built-in LED lighting here that's coming down from the top that fills that space up with light. Now, if you find things a little bit too bright, there is a diffuser that we saw earlier that you can actually detach inside, and so you can diffuse that light a little bit. But what happens here is you have a couple of different shooting position options. And so obviously there is this front flap that opens up quite wide. On top here, 
There's also another additional shooting spot that you can uh, shoot down through if you're wanting to do top related. And of course you could also tilt this in another direction if you so desired. So what I've got here to do today is, and uh, by the way, you can uh, easily, there's actually a flap here where I can fold that down to hold that open. Lots of cleverly placed Velcro things along the way that will allow you to uh, keep things open or closed. But what I've got to accomplish here today, and one of the primary things that I'll use this for is when I am shooting lenses. And so what I've got is I've got a couple of different lenses that I am wanting to uh, shoot together here, and that's the Sigma 135 f1.8 art, along with the Zeiss Milvus 135 millimeter f2. And so what I will do is I'll put them inside of the light tent, and I will get some of my product shots that I will use in, you know, my various uh, promotion and reviews. And so anyway, it allows you to shoot, and here I'm going to go ahead and take those images, and then I'll show you a few of what I produce here using just this setup right here. So as you can see, these images allow you to really create um, a, a very, in this case, I'm going for a high key look where it's a very pure background. You could also put them on black. And the fact that these are a material that doesn't ab going to absorb moisture means that I can also, as I do sometimes, I can spray a little mist on that. And, and so I can give a look that to emphasize in this case, maybe some weather sealing. And so it gives you just a lot of versatility. And then of course I could even go chroma key. If I wanted to put something different in the background, go for a black look or a low key type look. And so there is a lot of different alternatives and options. And then as you saw, all you have to do when you're done shooting is reverse the whole process, store everything inside of it, and you're back to having something very compact that could be put into a closet or in a corner and take up very little space in the real world. All in all, this is a very, very useful product, and I'm very excited for using this moving ahead because I do uh, some product photography, and also I incorporate a lot of this into my actual lens and gear reviews, and so it's something that will be very beneficial for me. The great news is that this product from Angler, you can get it for under a hundred bucks and I'll throw a link in the description down below. So if you're looking for something like this, uh, it seems to work very, very well. Employ the diffuser if you want to uh, kind of limit the light source, but that, that does bring me to what I would consider the one kind of weakness here that I would, the one thing that I would like to see changed or improved, and that is that there is no kind of slider control, no kind of dimmer for the built-in lighting. And so in some cases you may end up with some hot spots if you don't manage your lighting appropriately. And that could be more easily avoided much more usefully than just putting a diffuser on there if the switch itself had a dimmer incorporated it. And the fact that these are LEDs should make the dimming aspect fairly easy to add on to into the future. But beyond that, if you understand how to use aperture and shutter speed, you should be able to eliminate that problem anyway from your everyday shooting. And so far, I haven't personally found it to be an issue. I'm Dustin Abbott. Look in the description down below if you would like to get a link to looking at this. And of course, if you haven't already, you can subscribe or follow me on social media. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.